when the typical person says they don't like corporations, what they mean is they don't like when big businesses are the de facto government of the world. They don't like that stuff. Well, I don't have that mentality. I don't have that illusion that the world is being destroyed by greed. It's not. A big issue I have with corporations isn't the fact that I think they're the de facto rulers of the world. That they pay off the government that everything is basically just their puppet. My issue is that you see the consequences of being public, of being on a stock exchange, of having your business operate on the naked eye to everyone else, and the fact that you essentially, as the owner of that business, have less rights, because you're just the guy with the top shares, you're the CEO, nothing more, nothing less. And it's described perfectly here with the CEO of Mozilla Firefox having to resign. He's forced to resign, you know, to leave with his tail between his legs because six years ago he voted for an organization for traditional marriage. That's pro traditional marriage and You'll find a smarmy person here or there saying that they're glad this is happening, that people that say or have these opinions or engage in these actions, they should lose their jobs or a big chunk of their income and success. But of course, I'd like to think that this is a minority. I've unfollowed the majority of people on Facebook I don't trust, so I don't have to see nonsense on their news feed. Honestly, this is why I don't like corporations. This guy had an opinion, he you know, took his money and he put it to a specific cause he believed in. And now he takes the blame. Now he has to bounce. Now, I don't think he got fired. But the fact that the situation led to him having to make that decision, that's bad enough. So you take something like Chick-fil-A. With Chick-fil-A, I don't know if they're a private business or not. Let me check. They're a private
New York Stock Exchange. He became a billionaire overnight because of it, and that's kind of how he became the Monopoly guy for wrestling, I guess, like nationally broadcasted wrestling in the United States. But what's the consequence? The consequence is that now he, he's still in that publicly traded company. Uh, he has to answer to a lot of people. He has all these be a star, ridiculous campaigns, stand up for WWE, uh, the Susan B or Susan G comment thing, which is way fishy off the bat since most of that funding money is going for profits instead of actually helping the sick kids with cancer, breast cancer, and yeah, it's disgusting. But that's what happens. They have to be PC, as politically correct as possible. You know, Vince loves being edgy. That's kind of in his nature, so... I don't know. You have to answer to a lot of people. You have to maintain a certain level of conduct. You can't express certain things. You gotta know where you're putting your money in, because nobody trusts people that make politically incorrect decisions now. Burn that heretic. That's the nature of the game now. Let's burn all these heretics. And. That's why I don't like corporations. I do appreciate the fact that with a corporation, so long as the business doesn't go bankrupt, it can survive indefinitely. It doesn't matter what happens to owner, or the owner's families, or the people, the owner entrusted to the business, the CEO, I mean, the visionary. Because if he steps down, there's always going to be someone else that gets that position. At the same time, you lose a lot with that. You lose the essence of what that business is, what it strives for, and really, you lose that autonomy. <laughs> 